What's going on everyone? This is Mitch or Hacker 13 from jailbreakauthority.com and in this video tutorial I will be showing you guys on how you can jailbreak any iDevice on iOS 7.0.4 untethered using the latest evasion tool. Now this works for all iOS 7 firmwares right now so 7.0.4 or below and all you have to do is go to evasion.com which I'll have a link in the description down below and download it, download it for either your PC or your Mac depending on which computer you have. And so as you can see um, that's the file that you should get right there when you download it and you can open up the compressed folder and you should have the evasion program or application inside of that folder. Now you will need to press extract all, extract all I mean. And uh, when this uh, window pops up, you can just press browse and choose a location to extract the compressed zipped folders. And you just press next. And once that is finished, you should be able to open the evasion program as you can see there. Now this is for a PC. I'm sure the tutorial is pretty similar for a Mac, but the steps before this evasion program is open is probably more for a PC than a Mac. So for a Mac it might be a little bit different but not too much. So all you have to do is make sure your device is plugged in um, and just press jailbreak. As you can see there I did show you guys at the beginning of the video that my iPhone 5 is running iOS 7.0.4 and I can assure you this jailbreak works for all devices. The iPhone 5S, the latest iPads, iPhone 5C and it's on 7.0.4 completely untethered. So as you can see there's many different steps that your device goes through. Um, it's not that hard, not that many steps for you to do except for this one right here. It does, the program will ask you to slide to unlock and then open up the evasion application as you can see there. So you will need to do that. Your device will restart again. Your device uh, will restart many times during this process but as you can see um, it's just restarting again. Um, it probably takes around six to seven minutes uh, with the amount of times that it restarts. I cut through a lot of those parts as you can see with all these fades um, but I'm just showing you some of the key parts of the process but uh, basically it should be no longer than seven minutes I would say um, and your iOS 7 device will be fully untethered will have a fully untethered jailbreak. Um, so on the program right now it does say done um, so I can simply exit out of the program and as you can see here is my iDevice and it is turning back on uh, once again with the iOS 7 boot logo and it does show this the evasion logo and it gives you guys uh, some of the steps that it is finishing up on your device uh, with jailbreaking uh, iOS 7 so as you can see there it says reading kernel and then it says calculating offsets and pretty soon this is the very last step of the jailbreaking process so after this uh, the jailbreak will be complete and your iOS 7 device will have an untethered jailbreak no matter what device you're using you know huge thanks guys to the evaders team for giving us this awesome iOS 7 untethered jailbreak finally we've been waiting for it and we finally got it for all devices as you can see my device is almost finished booting up here and I'm just going to slide to unlock. I'm really excited to finally update to iOS 7 because I've been staying on iOS 6 this whole time. But as you can see right there, there is Cydia. So uh, my iPhone 5 with 7.0.4 is officially jailbroken. So as you can see, this is just the message, message that you get uh, when you uh, open Cydia up for the first time always. And so I'm just going to wait for it to finish and my device will respring afterwards. Um, but as you can see right there, Cydia is fully uh, functional and it's working. Now, uh, guys, do be careful because not a lot of tweaks or themes. In fact, I think barely anything from Cydia works right now, so don't go installing a whole bunch of tweaks and themes because you could end up messing something up. Uh, so just kind of be patient and wait until support comes out for a lot of these tweaks and themes for iOS 7, and when they do, you can install them. But anyways, guys, happy holidays. Uh, if you guys did enjoy this video and it worked for your device, please don't forget to click that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, once again, guys, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I will see you all in my next video.